Hey everyone, it's Raylene here. And uh, today I'm doing an, an introductory, introduction to essential oils class with you. So I'm gonna be taking the top, uh, I'm, I think we're gonna do about six or seven oils out of the top 10 that are in the um, one of the kits that you can start with in an introductory kit. So it's just 10 of the most common oils. So I'm gonna choose about seven of those depending on time and uh, we're gonna go through those today. And so I'm just gonna give a few minutes here for everyone to join. And I'll just give you a little introduction about myself. I'm a wellness advocate with doTERRA. I'm also a life coach and nutritional consultant. So I've been involved in the wellness industry for quite some time now as a fitness instructor and um, coach and different things that I've done. So. I, I love sharing this. It's another way of being able to take charge of your own health. All right, so this is just another options and the more I'm using the oils, the more I'm learning, the more um, passionate I'm becoming about sharing them. So I hope, uh, I hope this, is, this gives you a great introduction to how to use essential oils. And I also want to, I just have my notes here, so that's why I keep looking down. But. I also want to make sure that you, if you have any questions, you can ask them during the live video. And also, if you have anything that come up, there will be, I'm going to let you know ways that you can get in touch with me. We can actually do um, a wellness consult, or you can send me a, a message or an email. And also, at the end of the video, I want to share a way that you can get some uh, essential oils to try. Okay, I want you to watch the video first and then we can talk about how you can get some oils in your own hands. All right, so let's get started. So what are essential oils? Well, they are the aromatic compounds of plants. So if you've ever smelt a, a cut lemon or fresh cut grass, then you're smelling the essential oils that the plant has inside of them. Basically, the essential oils are the plant's immune system. All right, they're used for environmental threats and amongst other things. But when we use them ourselves, we're borrowing the plant's immunity. All right, it has a lot of uh, benefits for our own bodies as well. And this is not new, all right? The history of essential oils goes back thousands of years, many cultures, there's all kinds of different uh, cultures and backgrounds that have, that have used essential oils and what I feel, my, my purpose in using essential oils is that I just, I love having other options, okay? I started using them as a way to detoxify my home and my products and uh, after I was having my own health issues. And since learning about them and using them more and more, there are, there are endless ways to use essential oils in your life. Not only for body products and, you know, detoxing the ways that we some of the chemicals that we're used to using all the time, but it's also, there's a huge emotional component with it, with essential oils as well. And I really feel that a lot of people I'm talking to lately, they're, they want ways to be able to manage and cope with stress. All right, so this is just another tool in, in the toolbox, all right? So, as I said, ask questions. There's a chat, I hope I can see it. I'll keep checking anyways as I, as I go through. There's a chat there and also, like I said, you can get you can send me a message on Facebook as well. Okay, so let's get started with the oils. So first I wanna start with peppermint. Okay, so here's the peppermint bottle, all right? So peppermint, and I'm gonna go through different uses as I talk about each of the oils and not to say that you can't use them in other ways, but just for time to make this as efficient as possible. So peppermint is a great one to talk about aromatic use. Okay, so you can use it straight out of the bottle, and I mean, what I mean by that is just you open the cover and you breathe. All right, you can use it, uh, drop in your, the palm of your hand, rub your hands together, and you just breathe it in like that, or you can use it in a diffuser. And a diffuser is different than a burner, okay? So like some of the, uh, the wax burners that I have in my house from 
before, um, you don't want to heat your oils, okay? So these oils are highly concentrated and pure, and when you heat them, you really do ruin the, um, you're your wrecking your oils, okay? So it's wasting money for sure. An ionizer, like a diffuser, it's, it's actually a cool mist that comes out of the top. It separates the oil and connects it to a water molecule and puts it out as a fine mist into the air. So you're breathing in those molecules. And that has a very physical uh, component to it where you're breathing it in, it's getting into your bloodstream, into your cells. So you're getting the benefits that way. The other way with, with um, or aromatic use is that your sense of smell, your olfactory system is directly connected to your limbic system, which is the emotional control center for the body. So there's different components to that. But what is really important to know is that within 30 seconds, all right, of breathing in an essential oil, you can actually change your, you can make a change to your emotional, um, your emotional health. Okay, so your, you can change your mood. Um, a lot of things that we talk about with essential oils is about decreasing your nervous system response. Or as for peppermint, it's actually invigorating. So you're increasing stimulation. It's a great one to have on your desk while you're working, say about three o'clock when you start feeling a little tired or if you've been working for a while, then using a drop of peppermint oil really stimulates and wakes you, wakes you up, um, alertness. Uh, the other thing with peppermint oil is it's great for cravings. So if when you're finished eating a meal, just a little whiff of peppermint can help your body realize that you're done, you know, move on so that you're not craving. Sometimes it really helps with that sweet tooth. Um, peppermint is also used topically, which we'll get into a little bit later, for headaches, fever. It's not going to stop your fever, but which you don't want to. It's fever has a very important uh, healing property to it, but it can help you decrease your, give it cooling sensation. So using it on the mid back, uh, it helps with that, just feeling cooler, but still allowing the fever to do its thing. All right, so, so that's for peppermint. And the next one I wanna do is lavender. All right, lavender is, these are really common oils. So that's what I love about this, uh, the top 10 oils is they are the ones that you will get the most use out of when you're starting. Okay, so they have all kinds of things that you can do with them. So with lavender, this one I wanna talk about topical use. Okay, so lavender can be used neat, which is the word that describes directly out of the bottle. All right, but I, of course, with kids, you always want to dilute. And I recommend dilution just because of you get more for your oils. So you're gonna, they are gonna last longer and you actually absorb more of them because they evaporate really quickly from the skin. So when you use, when you use them with a carrier oil, like a fractionated coconut oil, which is a liquefied coconut oil, um, it's one of the, the fatty acid chains are removed so that it's a liquid. You can use it with the solid coconut oil, just warm it a little bit in the microwave and let it cool slightly so that you're not heating your oils again, right? Uh, in a pinch, you can use it with an olive oil or um, almond. There's, there's all kinds of liquid oils out there, but of course you wanna choose something that, uh, that's not so greasy if you're putting it on your face or your skin. Uh, your you know your hands and stuff so the best place for topical use is actually on the bottoms of your feet okay if you're wanting an immune if you're wanting a system-wide response so you can dilute them with some liquid oil put on the bottom of your feet especially great for kids so that they don't get the oils in their eyes or mouth and um, and there's actually studies which I find really interesting show that after 20 minutes you're the essential oils actually come out on your breath. So I thought that was a pretty interesting fact. So it's gone through your whole system in 20 minutes. So lavender is used really to support relaxation. So it's a great one for stress or anxiety. If you're feeling stressed throughout the day, you can use a drop of lavender, um, breathe it in. You can, lavender is a great one to dilute and with some oil and, uh, 
or even some water as a spray that you can like shake up and spray on your um, for sunburns for cuts and scrapes actually it's very helpful we've been using a lot in the last couple of weeks for uh, bug bites for itchy so it's helpful for that as well so that one and it's been one that we use a lot this is probably the third bottle that i've had since uh, january because of sleep everybody loves it in the room at night so it's been in the diffuser every evening in the kids rooms for sure so that is lavender now if anybody has questions let me see if i am actually seeing them okay um I'm not sure, but if, if I don't, then I will check it after and I'll get back to you. Okay, I don't wanna end up bumping myself off. Okay, so tea tree. All right, so tea tree oil, or melaleuca as it's called in the US, well, I'm actually not gonna get much into the difference in that today because I just wanna talk about the oils mainly, but uh, there is a US and a Canadian warehouse that you can order from. All right, so with, so, First, I wanna talk a little bit about doTERRA, because there is no regulation on essential oils, just like supplements, there is no standards, okay? There's, there's really not much when it comes to, um, there is no regulation and there's not much when it comes to standards, okay? So the companies are basically responsible for their own regulation. So doTERRA really wanted to change that for their, and set their company apart when it comes to standards and regulations so they created a cptg it's called certified pure therapeutic grade and you can see it it's on all the bottles i don't know if you can see it there but it's the little thing below the barcode it's basically their level of standards for testing so because doTERRA sources their oils from all the areas in the world that they grow best so the best favorable conditions you know for the environment so that the oils are the strongest most potent they can be they source from 40 or more countries and all the oils are brought back to the u.s for testing so they do nine in-house tests and then they do two third-party tests so they're sent to independent labs and just to make sure that everything that is in this bottle is pure oil so there's no fillers there's no synthetics they test the light refraction and the weight and just to ensure that it's all um, consistent in the bottles. And also, they one thing that's really interesting is on the bottom of each of the bottles, they have a number that you can, um, you can actually go on a, a website and check the results for all the tests. Just to, so that you can know what the, you know, that everything is, is what they say is in that bottle is what's in there. So with, with the CPTG, so as I was saying with tea tree, um, tea tree is used really commonly for cleaner, okay, for an antiseptic, antibacterial, antifungal, that's what it's really known for. So it can be used in cleaners for your, um, for your home. Um, you can make a spray for your countertops with tea tree, lemon oil. Uh, there's a few other things that would work really well. It's also used for any kind of topical, like skin conditions. So um, athlete's foot, acne, hives, rashes, it, it's used, you can put a couple drops in your shampoo for a healthy scalp and to help um, support during lice, you know, the beginning of school year when lice is going rampant. So it's a nice thing to have in your, in your shampoo at that point. It's also helpful for congestion. So it's a nice one to have going in your diffuser if you have a little cold or any kind of uh, lung congestion. So that is um, tea tree or melaleuca. And all right, so if anybody has questions, just uh, put something up there for, and I'll, I'll try to answer as I go or we can get in touch afterwards. All right, so the next oil is my one of my favorites for sure. It's frankincense. So frankincense, so this is a great time to talk about the co-impact sourcing because of the um, impact that they've had with working with doTERRA. So we talked about the CPTG and how they 
sourced from 40 plus countries in the world. And more than half of those countries are considered to be developing. So through their co-impact sourcing initiative, doTERRA works with the farmers in the communities to grow cooperatives. They help them, um, they you know establish ethical treatment, fair wages. They create the supplier partnerships with the communities so that they can grow stronger. And uh, they have a charitable foundation called the Healing Hands Foundation. And that provides funding and resources for social impact projects in communities like building medical centers, uh, schools, water and irrigation systems, educational training. Like this is one of the really main, one of the huge reasons why I chose, you know, above product, why I chose doTERRA because this to me is, it's a making a difference in the world. And, uh, and that's something that's very important to me. So because frankincense is such a high, like it's very difficult to harvest. It grows down the cliffs of Somalia. It's very time consuming. And often before, you know, with, with trying to harvest the oils in other ways, they were, it was really hard for the farmers to be paid fairly because of the time that goes into it. So this is one of the oils that is the, you know, if you look up co-impact sourcing, it's one of the oils on the top of the list when it comes to what they've been able to establish in communities. So frankincense is known as the king of oils. It, nearly all the um, ancient religious, um, in, ancient religions have had some sort of uh, talk and ritual around frankincense, as it's mentioned in the Bible. And it's a very, um, you know, considered a very uh, holy, I guess, uh, sacred oil. It's very well known for cell re regeneration. So for the skin, for scars, for stretch marks, you know, it helps regenerate cells. So, and the other thing that um, I would recommend that you do is look up pubmed.com. So it's P-U-B-M-E-D.com. This is a medical journal. And if you search up frankincense, there's so many tests going on, especially down in uh, the U.S., within all kinds of different medical centers that is using essential oils and frankincense is one of the main ones. So um, doTERRA actually has a medical and a scientific team that are doing all kinds of testing right now and some of it is really amazing. So I would recommend that you look that up for sure. And, um, and one of the other uses for frankincense is for grounding and relaxation. So for anybody that's dealing with stress, anxiety, depression, anything that is um, really, you, you're looking for something to ground you and bring your nervous system down. Frankincense is amazing for that. All right, so any, anybody has any questions on frankincense, send it along. Okay, I'm just moving through these kind of quickly because uh, I, you know, I wanna keep this within reason for a time. Okay, so the next uh, the next couple that we're gonna talk about. So within the top 10 oils, there's lemon and oregano that are single oils, and but I'm not gonna go over those in too much detail today. We're gonna move on to the blends, okay, that are specific to doTERRA. So the first one is Zengest, that's the one here. Um, it's also known as Digest Zen. So, and they're the same blends, just the US and Canadian. The top oils in those is, is fennel, ginger, and peppermint. All right, there's others, but those are the top ones. Um, they are best, this one is to help soothe digestion, motion sickness, nausea. It's a great one for anybody who gets motion sick during travel. So to have it diffusing, you know, have it in your car or to just take it with you to open up, use aromatically, you know, breathe it in as you're starting to feel a little nauseous. It's very helpful for that. Um, it's also great, you can take this one internally. So this is where I'll talk a little bit about internal use. You can't ingest all the oils, so that's something that you want to know before you do it. If, uh, if you do end up buying a kit, or you can go online and look as well on doTERRA's website, but you get the kit, uh, there's a book that comes with it that tells you how you can use each of the oils. And so some of them can be used internally. 
This one is great for, like I said, digestion. So um, you can put it in with a little bit of water, although I do recommend using a little bit of oil instead, like a little drop of coconut oil and kind of drink it like that. It just, uh, the water obviously separates and you can sometimes get a big gulp of oil if you're not mixing well. You can also buy empty veggie caps. So basically they're the capsules that um, your supplements would come inside, but they're empty. You can put a drop of oil in those and just ingest them that way. And uh, it's much simpler. So that one you, and just as a note here, you don't wanna have kids take it internally. So for kids, as I mentioned, you always dilute. You can rub it on their stomach, you know, over their, their stomach or intestinal area. And uh, that also helps with, uh, with stomach upset. All right, so we'll move along to On Guard. That is doTERRA's immune support blend. So this is a great one for in, well, there's all kinds of stuff going around right now too, but it's a great one for when school starts. Uh, this is one that you could make up as a little, in a spray bottle with some water and spray over hoodies, book bags, that kind of stuff just for some extra boost when the kids go off to uh, to school and daycare. This is one that we talked about before with topical and using on the bottoms of your feet. It's a great oil for that. You always want to dilute on guard because the top three oils are orange, clove, and cinnamon. So clove and cinnamon are hot oils and you always want to dilute hot oils if they're touching your skin. So this is one you could put on the bottoms of your feet if you're starting to feel like you're getting something. Excuse me. Uh, you can take this one internally in a veggie cap or diffusing. So we've had a bit of a, a few um, bugs passing through our house in the last few days. So we've had on guard diffusing an awful lot. So it's, it's helpful for boosting immunity. Clove oil is very high in antioxidants. So it's, uh, it's great for helping your body support in that way. Uh, you can blend it with coconut oil to make a, you know, a safer hand cleanser. So something that uh, the kids could take to school or you can take to work just as, you know, or especially during travel on the plane. And uh, it's an energizing and uplifting because of the orange. So that is a great one to have around, especially when stuff is going around in the over the fall and winter. All right, so I, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the last two, but very quickly. So Easy Air or Breathe, which I don't have right here. That is a great one for opening airways. So with congestion or, you know, with seasonal allergies going around right now, it's a great one to be diffusing and uh, helps with just support uh, respiratory function. And Deep Blue is the other blend that is amazing. It is, uh, the top three oils are Wintergreen, um, I'm forgetting them, Peppermint, I can't remember the other one. It's awesome for achy muscles. So with, uh, you know, for kids with growing pains or, you know, their legs are sore, putting that on muscles or after you've had a workout, it's wonderful for that. I have it on my nightstand and after I've been on the computer too much, which happens often, uh, I, you know, I put a little bit of that on my neck before I go to bed a lot. It's very helpful. So that is the top 10 oils. And um, just a note with the kit, because these are the oils that come in one of the kits, you do get a diffuser with it. And, uh, and we'll, for anybody who's interested in finding out more, yeah, so for anybody who wants to know more, you can send me a message here on Facebook. Um, you can go on my website, which is uh, raylenefewer.com. You can send me a message through that. You could, there is a sample request form on my website. I'll add it to the notes underneath this video as well that you can put in. There's, I think, five options for oils that you would like to sample for different systems. And uh, I can send those out to you. If there's anything specific that you wanted, then just get in touch. And uh, I really feel like it's important to, to have the oils in your hands because once you can feel them, smell them, you can notice, I noticed what the difference is. And uh, you know that's one of the main reasons why people end up loving doTERRA is that they've gotten to try the oils. So 
get in touch with me through that. Um, also, I offer free wellness consult to anybody who's wanting to know more about the oils, you wanna have a more customized approach, say if you already are used to using oils and uh, you wanna add in a few different ones, then get in touch and we'll book something to have a chat that's free um, just for your information. I just wanna be as supportive as I can. And, uh, and if you're watching this through YouTube, which I'm gonna be uploading after Facebook to YouTube, then um, I'm gonna put all that in the notes as, there, as well there. So share this video, um, guys, if you have anybody you think would like to know more about essential oils, and like I said, it will be on YouTube afterwards so that anybody who doesn't have Facebook can see it as well. And, uh, and thanks for, for uh, watching this, and I hope it's been helpful. All right, so have a wonderful day, and, uh, and like I said, if you have any questions, get in touch, and I hope to support you as you start incorporating essential oils into your life. All right, take care.